Mob Psycho 100, episode 6. Oh, yeah. It looks great on you. This monkey shirt You're the height of became a character Kageyama. in itself. I can borrow the secret it weapon. No, I'm good, but thanks for offering. Leave it on, Kay. Your tracker does a better defense stat. Defense stat. He was right. Just accept that before you end up getting hurt. A little bit of a recap. I like how that recap was 50% monkey shirt. I can't stand the sight of it. I don't know. I like it. I don't know. It's cool. Oh, no. Is I don't think I realized that it came with ripped sleeves. Is this going to be the final showdown between Mob and Dimple in the broccoli tree? I'm getting a whole season in like six episodes. Episode six, Divine Tree three. Dimple is... Mob's energy creating a tree-like system of its own, or cardiovascular system. It's one of those patterns you see repeated throughout nature. What was that about? Wasn't something I said, was it? I hope you're not feeling defensive about that ridiculous shirt of yours. Ooh, all right, here it comes. Better get ready. Godly barrier! What the... What did he just do? He just did something. Did the divine tree drain him completely? Did he send it out to other people? What did he do? I'm like terrified Feels all of a sudden. Like you exhausted the rest of your energy on purpose. Is that it? But why? Did he just give up his power to free other people? Are you really gonna let it end like this? What? What? What was that? <laughs> Dimples. Never mind. My powers were complicating things. This way, we'll be able to have a conversation. Uh, you can get them back, though, right? I can trust you. G how do you figure? It's simple, really. Yeah, how do you figure? You gave me your honest opinion of my shirt. This is a big gamble. Putting a lot of faith in Dimple is not the most trustworthy person so far. I think you just let yourself get carried away. It happens to all of us sometimes. I went through it too, so I know how it is. Oh? Huh? Yeah, we developed a really, really big chin. That's why I wasn't able to hear what you were trying to tell me. Yeah, yeah. Why not just get kind of stuck, caught up in the moment of his popularity. Back, we should have talked things out then. Dimple kind of spared Mob by becoming what Mob might have become. You were chasing your dream for such a long time. And when it seemed like it was finally within reach, you asked me to be part of it with you. You still wanted to include me. Aww. <laughs> this was about the two of us making your dream come true. Together. Even when I doubted you, you trusted me. Thank you. Well, if there's any good left in, in Dimple left, there's no resisting that attack. This isn't anything like I was expecting it to be. I finally Empty. amassed all these followers. I've effectively become a god, just like I always wanted. Yeah, big deal. Like how he won't use his psychic powers in everyday life. Or how he never goes along with any of my awesome ideas. But then... There's the fact that he wants the girl he likes to pay attention to him. He's an interesting character. He didn't fear me. He didn't shun me. Instead, he accepted me for who and what I was. I still have more to do. I got things I want to accomplish. Ambitions. Share them with me. I want to hear all about them as your friend. Oh, damn. Mob's friendship germinating from his own heart genuinely is worth more than all the lion subservient followers in the world. Yeah, it turns out there's a, a big similarity between Mob and Dimple. They're psychic brothers in this journey for validation from others. But the same reason Mob isn't delighted by all this attention is also the undoing for Dimple. Just like Dimple manipulating Subomi into liking Mob would feel awful, so would this subjugation Dimple is perpetuating on the world. Because I think maybe a part of the effectiveness of validation from others comes from the extent to which you feel it's worthwhile. I think if you get accolades for something that you yourself don't really appreciate or respect or feel you've deserved, it can give you a high for sure, but it's not as fulfilling as getting recognized for something that you, you deeply feel you've accomplished or feel really good about. At which point the attention you get from that thing is just kind of an extra because you already feel solid in that thing yourself. What would be great for Mob, and I think he recognizes this on some level, is Subomi loving Mob for who Mob actually is and wants to be, rather than sort of putting on airs to win her, let alone downright mind control. Screw gods and followers. I never realized this before, but that was the most pacifist really final boss fight. Friend. <laughs> hey, You're truly one of a kind, you know? Oh yeah, for sure. That's kind of cheesy, but it's also excellent and it's convincing because it's mob. Without the energy generated by their worship, my godly powers will vanish. But that's not the and end. I'll just go back to normal. But there's still great things we can accomplish, just in a better way. There's big things we can do still. You can satisfy this craving with good stuff. Let's go home, huh? Yeah. Oh. 
Whoa, hey, Shigeo. Uh, yeah, can what? we get the energy back? That's kind of essential. We need that back. We need those powers back. You're as hopelessly awkward as ever, aren't you? I hope Dimple keeps his form, though, because it's kind of awesome. Golden Dimple. Also, we solved world hunger, so. How long will you look like that? That's what, that's what I want to know. My godly powers naturally run out, which will probably take about a week or so. Not bad. Not bad. Then could you drop me off at my place and come back in about a week? What? We still need to do something about this broccoli. What's well, for dinner? It's broccoli. Forever. Broccoli forever. We could still do broccoli candy just without the mind control. I'm starting to get really sleepy. Can you wake me up when we get home? What kind of a thing is that to ask for? That's getting concerning. I said we should go home. But now that I think about it, I've got nowhere to go home to. Mob's house. Hey. Oh no, they created something. What the? With a mind of its own. It's not over. This is terrible timing. The tree absorbed my feelings and those of my followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has it's got a, this idea has a life of its own. It's real. It's real. I think about that sometimes because I think it's pretty obvious that there's something powerful about ideologies. And I think when we think about ideologies, we put a face to it. Like there's human beings that are perpetuating it. And that's definitely true to some extent. People do intentionally perpetuate ideologies for their own benefit. And of course, they reside inside the human mind and so they need a host. But at the same time, there's like this extra life force to them that undergoes evolutionary forces just like DNA. Sometimes I think certain ideas are almost predetermined or predestined because there's a natural structure to the world. There's something like objective reality, at least in terms of our experience. The human mind is what it is. And so naturally, some ideas are going to be more effective in spreading than others. So in a very weird sense, there is a, a life to them that maybe is not entirely deliberate. It's like there's just the set of all ideas, just like there's the set of all DNA. And just like certain DNA gives a strategic advantage to certain species in a particular environment, so too do certain ideas have more impact, more grip factor than others. And so this might sound bizarre, but I, I think in some sense, it's not all human will, or at least it's not all human malice. Some of it is just an iteration of life that has to happen. It has to be addressed, it has to be coped with, it has to be hashed out naturally, just like animal life and its iterations are hashed out in a natural process through evolution. This might be a stretch, but the fact that this broccoli tree took on a life of its own feels to me to be more than just this mystical, magical force or whatever. Hopefully everyone is free, so we have some backup. Hanazawa. The boy. Leave him behind. Sustenance. Better wake up, Shigeo. We're in serious trouble. Where is that? Where's that fancy move list now, Dimple? He's sound asleep. He's out. It's freaky as hell. There it is. Critical in this is did he free everyone for real? Because if not, everyone's still giving this thing energy. Give Shigeo back, damn you! Enemy becomes a friend very quickly. Bust a hole and get out. They get mob, it's over. They can absorb mob. And this is so much more satisfying than the dimple mob fight, because now we can just go go crazy. It's not friends fighting. Never thought I would see a fight between Dimple and Broccoli that I found this satisfying. Uh, this, these sound effects are so great. Terrifying. Could this thing really be draining away? Uh, all of my powers? Some karma right here. Just get out. Bring Mob with you, though. Golden Dimble kicking ass. Speaking of ass. <laughs> it looks glorious. It looks amazing. Well, this is Dimble being a god, in a sense, with an actual great cause behind it. Here's your purpose. <laughs> it's amazing in the sense of being one of the best fights in the series. <laughs> Against a broccoli enemy. Um... What about the prayer group? Look who finally woke up. Oh, he did it. He pulled it off. Damn, Dimple. Better not die. My feelings about Dimple are all over the place. What a roller coaster. Something happened? Not that I know of. 
Must have been a dream. Oh no, oh no, oh no, is this not, is this really Dimple? But you've been walking around holding this kind of power inside you your whole life. In that light, getting a big head at the thought of being popular is honestly pretty adorable. Anyone else with access to the amount of sheer power right, you've this is really got Dimple. would have grown full of themselves ages ago. Right, right, this is, this is true and insightful. You're a real man. You got big things ahead. No doubt, no doubt. These are the first and last orders I'm going to give you. First, awaken. Stand up, Shigeo. Using his brainwashing for good? You have to stand, even if it feels like you can't. And you have to walk forward on your own two feet. I'm getting a really bad feeling about this for Dimple. I have this errand I need to run on my own. Ooh, that's ominous. I don't really trust this errand. Oh no. Oh no! No, don't do this to me. <laughs> Oh no, everything was going so well. We were brothers now. Take care, kid. Oh. It'll be alright. It'll be okay. Have faith. No, he's He'll be fine. He's fine. Everything's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's gonna be fine. He's alright. That was the sound of Dimple being gently stored inside of his stomach. I think Dimple just self-sacrificed to destroy the... Broccoli demon. Um, let's go home. Okay? Let's go home. I don't want to... No, I think Dimple's... I don't think Dimple's okay. I'm choosing to believe Dimple is okay. Oh, he's a spirit. He's, he's a ghost. Mob can... Mob can do something. This exclusive footage oh, what brought the space? Forget the ocean. That's for pedestrians. I don't remember a thing. I couldn't even tell you how I got home. Oh no, and he has no memory of it. Is that a mercy or not? Dimple's the resident expert. I'll ask him about it. That might jog something. Just need to rest for a bit. Oh, Dimple. Dimple, like, erased himself from... He erased his, his greatest action of all time. The thing that actually made him like a god. I can't remember. He knows on some level. He feels it. Dimple. Thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Damn it. <laughs> Oh man, what the hell? I wasn't expecting that. I was having so much fun. Didn't expect to get destroyed. Oh, Dimple, why? That was such a beautiful goodbye, though. What a... <laughs> like, it's just amazing how they packed so much story, so much depth into, like, two or three episodes. Dimple had the full range, the full arc. He went to the, the depths of his worst and then the heights of his best. It's so amazing how clearly it comes through, like, how intuitive it is that his control over everyone and his power as a god was just so empty and terrible. Yet his power being used to fight on Mob's behalf and his sacrifice feels so amazing and so right, so aligned with what, what's good. The only consolation, I guess, assuming he's dead, let's not forget the infamous fire incident of season two, is that he became a realized character. He reached the heights of what he actually was looking for but didn't realize he was looking for which is greatness in service to something unselfish i hope this is not the end of dimple like it works for this episode because it's heavy it hits hard i would obviously be happy if he comes back but i think just a retrospective on the character he's so perfectly done my feelings about him my thoughts about him have just zigzagged all over the place from like not liking him at first to growing to like him especially in season two to like really being disappointed in him feeling justified and not liking him in the beginning to just like absolutely adoring him mob of course being constant and seeing the good in him pretty much throughout that was a heavy one and that feels like it concludes a whole arc that felt like a whole season honestly in just six episodes and really just three or four episodes because the first two if i recall were more slice of life mob stuff. Maybe there are some constraints for season three, but it ends up paying off. And I think a lot of times when shows are forced to deal with these sorts of constraints, it ends up benefiting them. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. Because you just get the whole range so densely delivered. Now we have another six episodes. With this kind of writing, this kind of pace, we get a whole other season, it feels like, which is amazing. <laughs>